So a couple of months ago, Shreddy posted on Twitter about wrestling in Ireland, in Northern Ireland, and Shreddy almost got cancelled for that tweet. The wrestling has took Shreddy all over the globe, but never in my wildest dreams did I ever think it would bring me to a third world country like Belfast. So what happened next? Ireland came knock, knock, knocking on Shreddy's door for a trip, for a chance, for an opportunity for Shreddy to grace that country with my presence. So what happened when Shreddy went to Ireland? Watch to find out. My name is Shreddy, a professional wrestler and the 2022 NABBA Mr. Britain bodybuilding champion. I've been lifting since I was a teenager and I've been competing in bodybuilding for over 10 years now. I'm not the guy to speak to if you want to become a pro bodybuilder, but if you do want to get bigger, get leaner and feel better about yourself, I might be able to help out. So the most important part of the trip before we get started is saying bye to... The, oh, he's walking away from me. There's the trick, you move the table. Ah, oh, bye baby, love you. <laughs> off ski we go and i'm sweating already so we're parked up well we're not parked up we got parked up and little airport hack because i'm now a pro at traveling it's like the fourth time i've flown in my life if you park for less than 15 minutes parking is free so that's exactly what we did i say we there's only me here uh it's an adventure by myself at least it is going solo hand solo for the next hour when my tag team partner for the weekend will be joining. Guess as know that might be? Put them down in the comments below. It's like something off The Walking Dead. It's a ghost town in here. Frickin' ghost town. We're in Newcastle. It's not even that late. It's about quarter to nine. So I'm trying to figure out where to go because I do not know. Um, we can see. There's a Greg's there. Even if I wasn't prepping, Shreddy wouldn't be having a Greg's. Shite. And we're flying with the premium, the holy grail of airport travel. Not easy, Jess. Ryanair. There's literally no open. Not even WH Smith's is open. But the party's about to start because in this closed Starbucks, look what we just found. Party's about to start. It's mental. Newcastle. Mental. It's fuck all open for food. Dire. There's the boy, oh. Do the raffle this weekend. Alright. Just uh, having a shower since the last show. So we've been. Target Wrestling. Whitehaven. Tell them about your um, little getaway. Your little getaway? Yeah, straight out. In the car, oh, you yeah, yeah. Towel rounders, trunks off, cock out. <laughs> Straight in the BMW. That's why he's called Mickey Long. It's a one series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was. The cock was handling the pedals. <laughs> <laughs> Time is it now? Uh, just coming up at two o'clock. Two o'clock. We got delayed on the plane for 40 minutes. We were on the plane waiting longer to take off than the journey took to get here. So we missed the bus. So we now got another hour and 20 odd minutes to wait for the next one. What do you think, Mickey? Wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's better be easier than driving to Manchester, this. <laughs> Off place and save, huh? There. There? Oh, that is good news. <laughs> I feel like you're an old Let's have a walk. There's other places open um, where we walk through, we can have a look shop, about. Coffee shop, The salmon looks tiny. Got loads of different flavours. Taters. Can't go to the island. I'll get a pack of taters. Smoky bacon. Oh, sour cream. Got the last. I don't even like cheese or anything. <laughs> <laughs> that one looks absolutely tiny and these like, that's not enough to show you that, is it? No, you're going to need at least two of them. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got about another, oh, I don't know, 50 minutes to go till the bus arrives. Now, we've had some delays and feeling pretty tired, but the protein pots just got from that little shop there. Islanders do some tasty protein pots. When we get in the bus, that's apparently between one and a half and two hours to where we're going, and then it's a 10 minute taxi ride to where we're staying. So we are probably not going to be in and settled till quarter to six. So it's going to be, well, it's been a long day. Um, try and get some sleep on the bus because then tomorrow which technically is today we'll be wrestling and then Monday we'll be up early again here he is feeling good yeah gonna sleep on this bus though look at that these chairs are fast to scratch me back <laughs> so we're in Belfast finally, it's half five. We're now waiting for a taxi and it could be this guy. How the show went, Shreddy had a squash match at the start of the show, introduced myself to the crowd, cut a promo, beat up one of their regulars, attacked them post-match to set up the main event, to set up the bigger match later on the night where it was Shreddy versus Mickey Long. And this is how it went down. <laughs> The reason we do this on shows is me coming in as a new guy, Mickey coming in as a new guy. We are unknowns to this crowd, or at least I thought it was going to be an unknown. There was quite a few fans there that did recognise me. But for the general audience, we are unknowns to this territory and to this audience. So me coming out early in the night, cutting a promo, running the crowd down, that's going to generate me some heat. That's going to get the crowd to dislike me. Me beating up one of their smaller guys, one of their regulars, me winning him, me beating him, and then me 
beat them up post match me putting a beat down on him that generates me more heat so the crowd dislike me the crowd hate me after what i've just done mickey comes out makes the save big baby face pop and there we go we have our match set for later in the night we're telling stories brother <laughs> So we're done with the show and we've got, what's the YouTube channel? Wrestling Revolution Keaton. Wrestling Revolution Keaton. We've got a little new going, we've got the little studio set up here. So we're going to get a little exclusive. So make sure to check out Wrestling Revolution Keaton. I'll put the link in the comments below. So let's get on with the interview.
there's the Guinness match over there. <laughs> I love a donut. Oh, they even got the tunes playing. You must feel right at home, yeah. <laughs> Aye, it's the most limerick thing I've ever been to. Now we're back to where it all started, back on home turf. So the flight was really quick coming home, like just over half an hour. Much better and easier than the flight going there. So I am now waiting for my sister to come and pick me up from the airport. And then we're going to get my ass back home. And I've got one of those meal preps that I bought to only get one of them. I guess I had no appetite at all, just had literally two meals, um, just wasn't feeling hungry, I don't know why. So I've got one of those meal preps for when I get back home. And that brings us to the end of our trip. And that's it in the books, Shreddy's first international booking. And we are back over in Belfast, Northern Ireland on October the 28th. But next up, the vlog that I will be bringing you is the time when Shreddy went to Qatar. I can't wait for it. It's going to be a hell of a trip. Subscribe to be notified of when that video drops. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If there's any videos you want to see, let Treddy know. But until next time, remember that clanging and banging ain't no gimmick. It's a lifestyle.